Hello everyone, welcome back, and need I say that that Miami game was disappointing. Oh man, we had an 11 point lead and the ball, and at that point I thought, there's no way we lose this game. Hobart Bay has never blown such a big lead. I don't know if we've ever blown a lead of more than one possession before. And we had the ball, so I thought, offense is doing fine, we'll be all good. And then a certain scoop and score just completely changed everything. Miami got that. We responded, yes, but it seemed that the scoop and score was the spark that the Hurricanes needed. Because they just came roaring back. Their offense was untouchable. We couldn't stop them after that. And... We wound up giving, giving up 28 points in the second half, and that's what happens. That's disappointing, to say the least. But when you think about it, this, this isn't the end of the season. We, we, especially after beating Ohio State and after we came so close in the Rose Bowl, I think Hobart Bay still has a shot at the college football playoff. Remember, you can still have one loss and a three-point loss to a number one school on the road, which is literally on the exact opposite side of the country. That's a really good loss. Hobart Bay wins out, wins the Pac-12. I think you could see the ones making a playoff appearance. I genuinely believe that. However, we would have to win 10 in a row after this, and after what was all around a good performance, except in the second half, we have to face Arkansas State. Now, let's let's get a quick preview of these Red Wolves. Now, Arkansas State, not very talented. They're only number 11 because last year they did well. And they've got some injuries that they have to deal with, and that is huge. Combine that with the fact that they're actually not a great team. Their defense has kept them in games, but their offense is absolutely atrocious. Uh, I think Hobart Bay should probably run away with this one. I think Arkansas State is incredibly overrated, but let's look at their team. They have at the tackle DeAndre Christmas Gill. I'm assuming he has a longer name than just Gill at the end. He's got half a sack, a couple tackles, hasn't played much, only two games. He's got, actually for a defensive tackle, he's got pretty good speed. But, of course, at D-tackle, you have to always look out for their strength. They have pass, pass rusher, and all that. But he looks like a solid guy. They also have Kenyon Jackson at D-tackle. He's got five tackles, four of them for loss. Six assisted tackles, and also half a sack. I wonder if he shared that with DeAndre. Anyway, he's slower, but he's got plenty of strength. He seems a little more balanced. And... Yeah, again, just a solid player. I would not count him out. I think their D-line could be terrifying. And at tight end, they have Cedric Adams. Eight catches, 175 yards, and a touchdown already. He even got a 72-yarder, so that's pretty good for him. Yards after catch are not the greatest. But you look at him, he's got pretty decent speed, good catching. He looks like a balanced tight end who could block or catch. I think he could be a very big part of this Arkansas State offense. I genuinely do. We'll see how it turns out, though. I hope you guys watch the game tomorrow. I'll have to watch a recording, as always, because I'm under house arrest. But at least I get to see the game at all. So, until next week's preview, I hope you guys like... I hope you guys have a phenomenal day. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And again, have a nice day.